Hello everyone, so I'm here in Lamington National Park. This is familiar territory, I'm, I'm just um, down the road from the Coomera circuit um, where I went like back last April on a walk to Coomera Falls, but today I'm going to be walking to Lower Bellanjui Falls, 5.3 kilometres each way. Shouldn't be too hard to walk I don't think. Should take me a few hours, so let's go check it out. Beautiful day out. Hope it clouds over a tad so I can get some nice photos, but yeah. Always nice to be in the, out in the rainforest. Well, I've been going about half an hour now. Just come to a short detour to Young Gala Lookout. And the views around here from the track are spectacular, so I reckon it'd be pretty amazing from there. <laughs> Jeez, it's a bit edgy. <laughs> Just a cliff that just juts out. Crap. Wow. Can't really see too much actually out that way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can look down the valley where we were yesterday actually at Natural Bridge and that's kind of around the corner a bit, but this is a pretty awesome spot. I've just passed a sign saying that it's only 1.5 kilometres to the falls now. So I've done 3.7 k's in a bit under 50 minutes, so I'm going at an excellent pace. Um, interesting little area here. Palm fronds. Very pretty. Check this thing out. So this is just off the main track. And you can see that could be a waterfall in the wet season. A really bizarre one. That's incredibly strange. It's just a little um, funnel almost in the cliffs. The main track's just down there. Like it doesn't look like a really much of a creek bed, but it looks kind of like a floody kind of waterfall. This would be incredible to see when it was flowing. Wild. So I'm nearly at Ballinjui Falls now. 600 metres to go, and I think these 600 metres will be along the creek. It isn't flowing all that strongly, though it has some water at least. Beautiful area. Well, I'm here at Balanjui Falls now. It's a pretty impressive site. I've actually um, scrambled up a bit, so there's um, three levels to the falls. And you come out at the bottom one, which is a pretty decent drop in itself, but it's not nearly as impressive as the other ones. So I'll show you now. This is where I am now. The main drop at the top up there, that'd be 50 metres, I reckon. And this one in the foreground, probably 30, 25. And then just down there is where the track actually ends. Wasn't too difficult getting up here. Steepish little scramble. And that's the lower waterfall there. Pretty impressive.
Well, I'm on the way back now, and um, I've stopped at this lookout here. I missed the turn off for it last time, but I'm glad it's on the way back. It's spectacular. It's a similar kind of view to the one I was at before, except it's higher up and a lot clearer. I think the other one's just down there at the bottom of this cliff. The waterfall's around there somewhere, and I'm probably about 25 minutes from the start of the track now. This really is a beautiful view. Just coming to the end of the walk now. It's a good walk this, passing through a variety of different terrain and different kinds of forest and that, and a pretty impressive waterfall. So it took me about three hours return. Definitely worth a visit this spot, 10 and a half kilometers. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.